As classics riders go, they don't come more promising than Niels Pollitt. Last year, with the help of former winner and DS Dirk de Mol, the German put in a career-defining performance on the cobbled roads of Paris-Roubaix. I was already confident that I will do a good Paris-Roubaix. In one moment I was thinking, OK, maybe I just try to go. And then I knew, OK, now you are in the game, don't drop. I was, I was confident uh, that he would win. He told me directly, why you wait for the velodrome, just try. And then, OK, then the last, the last kilometer, you're sitting in the car, the television is not working anymore because you're in the town. Then I was also, I have to say, too nervous. And actually, I come from the track, but I did uh, also a big mistake in the sprint. I was going up already in the corner, and uh, he just went, and I had no chance anymore. That win in Roubaix may have just slipped away, but the experience reinforced Pollitt's affinity for cobbled racing. I went quite a lot of times uh, with my dad to, to, to racing in, in Belgium. They fit me better, some couples, and, and I really liked the, the racing in Belgium. Then I was coming to yeah, also some, some small stage races in the juniors, uh, where we was going over the couples already, and, and I really liked it. Not even the couples, like only Paris Obé. I, I really like also to, just to ride in Belgium, like Tour of Flanders, uh, Harlebeek, and with some hills, with uh, with uh, with couples, some hills with out couples, uh, up and down, some wind, uh, bad weather. This is uh, yeah, this race style what I like. Niels is a rider that I uh, followed already like four years. His name was uh, coming back in, in, in races on the under 23 races and uh, especially the way how he's racing. It's, uh, it's somebody, um, it's a fighter and you could see it straight away it's, it's uh, someone with, with a big engine and this is what you need to be a classic rider. And it's been that big engine and Pollitt's ability against the clock that's been a key part of his classics rise. When you look to his results from 17, 18, and we look to his results in the time points in 19, what a step he made also there. And he's only 25, so in, in each thing, uh, he will never be a climber, he will never be a, a top sprinter, but he can be sure one of the best classic riders in, uh, from his generation. And, and also in the time trials, he can, he can still make progression. I really like to suffer. I really like also to, to, to have long races. Uh, on the end, everybody is dead and everybody is fighting with, with uh, himself. So, and these are the races of which kind I like. And th this will help him because it's, it's a, a time trialist can keep going. Once they have, for example, a gap of 20, 30 meters, most of the time they're gone. And, and also, like with news, I see it happen um, in, in coming years that, that, that this will happen also. He will go one day and they're not going to see him back. After former team Katusha Alpacine folded at the end of last year, Pollitt and Demol both made the switch for 2020 to Israel's startup nation. So it's only seven riders who came over from Katusha, and uh, five on the, of the seven are from the, from the classic squad. Mats wird Schmidt, Vicente Biermanns, Rick Zabel. We have guys uh, in the classic team who was also last year there and uh, was helping me a lot. We have like 10, 11 riders to do the classics. A lot of teams are thinking we are a little bit underdogs, but uh, I think we have a really strong classic team. Nils and Andre together now in one team. So uh, they, are, they are from the same town. They train a lot together, so they know each other very well. And we have seen also Greipel uh, has not been alone uh, just a top sprinter, but also in the one-day races he was often present till deep in the final, and and he will be he will be super important uh, for Niels. I have seen him uh, growing this year, um, not only as a, as an athlete, but also uh, he becomes more and more like a, like a leader. In the race, um, he uh, he's on the radio. 
he knows what he wants. I mean, you're never sure, but but I am almost sure he will win one of those big big monuments soon.